Hey everybody, like you like to hear and welcome back to another video. It's been about 4 months since the release of Mario Party Superstars and I've been having tons of fun playing this game. But at the cost of having fun, I may or may have not ruined a couple friendships. You see, Mario Party is the perfect game to have an excuse to yell at your friends and get toxic. I'm playing Let's go! We win! Let's go! Anyways, today I'm going to be talking about my experience and thoughts with Mario Party Superstars, so I hope you guys will enjoy the video, and like to start. Mario Party Superstars is tons of fun. It offers great mini games from the previous games, four great and classic maps, I say 4 instead of 5 because Peach's birthday cake has ruined my life. I hope you don't land on my spot. You don't land on my spot. He didn't land on my spot. Oh, he landed on my spot. <laughs> he landed on my spot. <laughs> that map sucks. Oh, and who can forget the awesome stickers this game has? And Mount Mini Games. Mount Mini Games is great when you and your friends want to play quick Mario Party sessions. This is because it allows you to choose the mini game of your choice, and not only that, it also has some mini games that can only be played here, such as Survival, Coin Battle, and one of my favorites, Sports and Puzzles, specifically the Sport Mini Games. Volleyball, Ice Hockey, and Soccer are the available games in this category, and for a game that lasts 3 to 5 minutes, it gets intense. The Puzzle Mini Games, on the other hand, are just Dr. Dr. Mario and Tetris type of mini games. I'm not a big fan of them, but I don't hate them either. The other game modes are kind of irrelevant in my opinion. I don't play them and I don't care for them either. My friends and I usually never play these game modes anyway. Enough with Mount Mini Games, let's start talking about the real party. Mario Party Superstars offers 5 maps from the first 3 Mario Party games, which are Yoshi's Tropical Island, Spaceland, Peach's Birthday Cake, Woody Woods and Horrorland, which is my favorite out of the five. Each map has its own unique twist to screw up the players, such as the giant Bowser beam that shoots in the middle of the map in Spaceland. Each twist could come in clutch if you want your friends to have a horrible time for your own enjoyment, or they could just ruin your life and make you rethink of your life decisions. As someone who has been robbed from Piranha Plants and Peach's birthday cake, I, I can 100% say that it sucks. Although, I redeemed myself when me and my friends played on Yoshi's Tropical Island. But I would be lying if I said playing that game was fun, because in reality, it, it was torture. You may be wondering why it was bad. It's because of all the damn lag. Look, I've never experienced lag before on Mario Party until I played in this session. Whenever Mario Party lags, it's, it's just the most painful thing of all time. I played with my friends Bryson, Anton, and Jux, and all I want to say is that Anton's Wi-Fi is literally one of the worst things on this earth. It's working now. No, it's no, not. It's not. Is it, 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 does this look like good internet to you? I can go to the middle of an arch and gonna have better internet than this, bro. Eventually, the lag stops and we have some good old minigame fun. But can I just talk about how some of the 1v3 minigames are so unfair, either against the solo or the team of three? These 1v3 minigames are not balanced in the slightest. Well, not all of them are unfair. There are a couple like Pogo, Agogo, and Coconut Conk where it's fair for both parties, but overall these minigames are either a free win for the solo or the trio. Minigames like Piranha's Pursuit and Look Away are basically a free win for the solo, while games like Tackle Takedown and Spotlight Swim are so unfair for the solo and an easy dub for the trio. And my feelings about them? Uh, I don't know how I feel to be honest. I don't hate them, but I don't really like all of them either. I just think it's unfair depending on the minigame you're playing and what team you're on. But like I said before, not all the 1v3 minigames are like this. Coconut Conk and Pogo A Go Go are two great examples of a balanced 1v3 minigame, because both games involve juking out the opponents, so both sides have an equal chance of winning, which is great, and more 1v3 minigames should be like this. But, this is Mario Party we're talking about, so the word fair just does not exist. While we're at it, let's start talking about the 2v2 minigames. My feeling about these minigames is that they're really fun. That's if you got a good teammate. Bryson, Bryson, look, look oh. at my face. Bryson, 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 bro, I thought, I thought you played Geometry Dash, bro. Oh my god. Because sometimes, it's kind of obvious whenever your teammate is throwing, and then it costs you the game, and trust me, it is not a good feeling. So, the key to these minigames is teamwork, meaning that you and your friend are going to have to communicate to have a chance to take the dub. 
I haven't been able to play all the 2v2 mini games, but from the ones I've played from, I've enjoyed these type of mini games. Some of my favorites are Sky Pilots, Burn Style, and Dungeon Duos. I got nothing else to say besides that the 2v2 mini games are awesome. Next, let's talk about the 1v1 mini games. There are only 5 of these mini games and I like all of them. The 1v1 mini games get really intense and that's what I like about them so much. It gets the adrenaline pumping. It also gives you the satisfaction of knowing that you ruined your friend's life and it makes you feel like a king. But it also allows you to call this game garbage and make you hate your life when you lose all your coins in a wager. That feeling sucks. Finally, it's time to talk about the free-for-all minigames. These minigames are goaded and there's no reason to hate them. You don't have a bummy teammate to bring you down. You don't have to worry about getting 1v3'd unless your lobby is full of bums. And if there is one other person remaining near the end of the game, it turns into a mini 1v1. These types of minigames are so much fun and I love them. Some of my favorites are Pushy Penguins, Slot Card Derby, and Rapid River Race. Although there are some minigames where it's kinda easy to cheat, specifically in the game Messy Memory. In this minigame, you have to memorize the order of the objects are in, but that's easily avoidable by just taking a screenshot. Everyone watching this video has done that once and you're lying if you haven't. Moving on from messy memory, I also want to say that not all the free-for-all minigames are perfect. Some of them are way too easy. Like there's one game called Roll Call where you just count the number of toads on the screen. You're guaranteed to be at least 2-3 to three off or you'll have the right amount. Oh my god, alright, I think that's about it for free-for-all. And I also think I covered every type of minigame, so that's good. Except coin minigames. Oh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's right. I almost forgot about that one. Well, would you look at that? How could I forget about these lovely coin mini games? Uh, I'm just joking, by the way. I don't want to talk about these type of mini games at all, in fact. The coin mini games are mid. I don't enjoy them, and I just think they're boring. Yeah, that's, that's about it for this segment of the video. And those are my thoughts and experience with Mario Party Superstars. I'm glad we got a new and good Mario Party after a couple of years since the previous couple were, uh... Kinda bad. If I were to give this game a rating, it would honestly be an 8 to an 8.5 out of 10. I definitely think that this is one of the good Mario parties, so I would 100% recommend this one. Anyways, that's about it for today's video. If you guys haven't already, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help out. And make sure to hit the bell icon because I started streaming on YouTube again. So if you want to be notified for my streams, make sure to sub to the channel and turn on the bell notifications. Anyways, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. And I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And like it too. Out.